dodges everything that comes her way. <laughs> Quarterly reviews, taxes, conspiracy to murder charges. And now she's jumped bail by being, get this, dead. <laughs> Honestly, people will try anything. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to show you how to do all six most wanted bounties from your bail office as fast as possible. Now, I like to have the Hakucho Drag set as my personal vehicle because you don't actually need to drive your uh, bail office van over the locations. It will teleport once you get there. So I like to use the Hakucho Drag as it is the fastest land vehicle that I own. This first one is Grace Whitney. What you need to do is head over to the morgue on the east side of the city. And once you come in here, I'll have to swing underneath the car park here. Oops, I went a little bit too far to the right. Go a little bit more left through the actual car park. Then come around the back, and we're going to pull up just here. There's going to be a guard on our right. We need to take him out with stealth, and then head inside. Once you come inside, there's going to be two more guards around the left here. Take them both out as quick as possible, under stealth as well. Come into the morgue here, walk up to the wall here, press right on your D-pad. It will pull the body out of the cooler. Once it comes out, you need to take your phone out, take a photo, and send that to Jeanette. Once you've done that, you need to leave. Now I like to just stand back from the door here, just as the dialogue goes along, wait for the blue corona to pop up in front of the door. When it does, then you can walk out. Hop on your bike, and rather than go back the way we came, just come around the left here, drop down off this ledge, and just follow the freeway now. We're heading over to the Arcadia Centre. Some of you may own the office there. That's the one we're heading to. Just head towards the garage entrance of that particular building. Now, once you come in underneath, there's going to be two guards here, so hop off your bike, take them both out quickly and stealthily, and then head into the Yellow Corona. Once you come outside here, you're going to have a couple of guards to take out in stealth. Just headshot that guy. This one here. Two more over here. Oops. Oh, nearly got him. Um, nearly broke stealth then. So just take them out with headshots. Try and be a little bit cleaner than I was just in. Come up the stairs here. There's going to be a few more guards up here. Around the corner. Here he is. So take him out for headshot. Come around a bit further. There's going to be another one here. Take him out for headshot. There'll be one more up the end. Take him out of the headshot as well. And then as you come up around the corner here, this is where stealth is going to be broken automatically. So just uh, go in guns blazing, take all the guards out here. You're going to have a couple over this side, take them both out. One more around here, there he is, and one more there, take him out, one more. There's going to be one that might come down the stairs, is there? Yes, there he is, so take him out as well. Next, head over to these boxes here, press right on your D-pad to pick up this duffel bag. Head over to the painting, and we're going to steal this painting. Now, normally this would give you $5,000. The week I recorded this video, it was paying double money, so I'm going to get $10,000. So if you're watching this in the future, and the bail office is no longer double money, actually, when this video goes live onto YouTube, it is not going to be double money anymore. So you just, just halve the money I'm making, that's what's going to be your profit. So next, head up the stairs over here, and we're going to have some more guards upstairs to take care of. Not much to explain here, just take everybody out as quick as possible or make sure you're not stuck on a reload like I was just then. I should have reloaded coming up the stairs when I had no guards to worry about. Anyway, got them all. Oh, no, one more got in there. So now head over to the elevator here and press right on your D-pad. Now when you come outside, you're going to take this guy here out. There's going to be a helicopter spawning, so if you've got a rail gun like I have, that's what I like to use here, take the helicopter out one shot, bang, helicopter gone. So pull out your machine gun again. I like to use the um, special carbine, Mark II. Come around, take all these guards out. There's going to be a few around here. Just keep an eye on your mini map. That'll show you where they are. Pretty easy to take out. These guys aren't, aren't that bad at all. Another one there. Come around a little bit further. And get the rail gun out. Uh, there's another helicopter. Hang on, wait a minute. It comes out on the next level, doesn't it? What am I doing? Uh, head up the stairs. Take out the... Uh, take out my machine gun again. There we go. Take that guy. That guy, and there's the helicopter, so back onto the rail gun, where is it up above me there, take him out, and then head up the stairs. Just be careful when you come up here, there's going to be two guards up here with your target, you don't want to kill the target, so duck under cover, take the guard on the left, take the guard on the right, pull out your stun gun, and try and stun the target. Wait. Shit. 
And I missed her, never mind, I'll try to disarm her. By, you, can shoot, you can shoot the weapon out of her arm like I just did then. It is risky, you can kill them if you're doing it. You don't want to kill them, you want to capture all your targets alive. So try and get them with a the stun gun. Anyway, chuck her in the van, and then we're going to drive back to the bail office. You will have a few NPCs chasing after you on most of these if you're turning back, but it's pretty simple. Just drive back. Once you get back, that is going to be the mission done. And as you can see there, I got the additional $10,000 because it was double money when I recorded this. For you, it's probably only going to be $5,000. Next, I'm going to show you how to do Chaz Lieberman. So hop onto your bike and head down to pretty much the same area we were going to with Grace Whitney down to the east side of the city. Once we get down here, we're going to be looking for the towers. There's one on the roof over here. Okay, so come down the side here and we're going to head to the back of the building. You're going to see the red dots on the map. The one that is not near the green dot, that is where your access is to the roof. That's the guard on the ground, the one I just killed there. So come up the ladder, and there's going to be another guard up the top here. We've got hang on, one more ladder to go up. There's going to be another guard here, so take him out. You want to stay in stealth, and keep an eye on your mini-map as well, because there's going to be a couple of cars getting around. These are the lone sharks who are looking for, for Chaz Lieberman, so you don't want them to see you killing the guards. That's going to give away your location, and they're going to come after you as well. So come in through here, there'll be another one here, either on the left side there, or the right, it's on the right here. So come out, there's going to be a guard just here, take him out, and then head up the stairs to the roof. Come around the corner, there's going to be one more guard here, take him out, then head over to the tower, press right on your D-pad to pop the hacking device on. Then I like to just jump over this rail here, make sure your armour and your um, health is all the way full before you do it, because you might die if you don't. Hop on the bike, and we're going to head down a bit further south now. So I like to first check the roof here, then come around a bit to the left and check the roof here, so it's neither of these two. So then come back here down this road, and it's going to be on the left just there, you can see it there. So pull up just here, and this guard just there, take him out. Next head up the ladder, and same deal again, take the guard out on the roof, and pop the hacking device onto the tower. Next hop onto your bike and we're going to head down to a uh, warehouse which is just next door to LS Customs and look out the guards just bottom me. Doesn't matter, take them out. Just head down through here. You should know this LS Customs, most you would know where this one is. It's a warehouse right next door here so just head inside and I'll talk to you once we're inside. So once you come inside there's going to be a heap of guards to take out. Try to do it in stealth, it doesn't matter if you do break stealth. More often than not I break stealth but it can be done in complete stealth. Just, just look look where their vision cones are, try and take them out. There's another, another one around the corner here, Let's take him out. And I didn't kill him properly, nope, I didn't, so <laughs> I've broken stealth. So now I just go guns blazing, take everybody out, doesn't really matter. Another one around there, one more around the corner here and there. One more at the back corner there, got him. There's one more on the map there, I can see there's one just here as well, so take him out. And get that last guy in the back. There we go. So now come in through here. There's going to be one more guy around the corner here. Come around the corner. Take him out. And now head into the office here. And there's going to be a safe just here. So press right on your D-pad. There's going to be some poker chips in here. So press right on your D-pad again to collect them. And here is Chaz. So what I like to do is stun him. And walk up to him. Press right on your D-pad. Now once we come outside, we're going to have a cutscene activate. The lone sharks are going to blow up our van. Okay, so once you're out of the cutscene, come over to the left here. Take a heap of guards out. There's going to be one coming up the stairs here. There's going to be another one around the corner here. Take him out. One inside the uh, train there. A couple up the back here. There's going to be one spawning on the roof in a second. He hasn't... not there yet. Where is he? Where is he? Come on, mate. Where are you? I can see you. There you are. So take him out. Next, come through here and just take a few of these guards out, and then we're just going to go for a run. A few more there. Where is he? One down the end, one around the corner there. Just keep an eye on, on the mini map where they are. There's one more behind the, the wall here, behind the barrier here. Use your armor and your snacks as you're coming through. 
Have I got him? No, there he is. Got him. Okay, so now I run through. And this is why I like to um, stun Chaz, because he will follow you if he's not stunned very, very slowly. And he'll have a health bar. And these lone sharks are going to start firing at him. And if you don't move quickly, if Chaz doesn't move quickly, he will die more often than not. So that's why I always stun him. Anyway, head down to where the van is. Hop in and we're going to drive this back to where Chaz was. So just follow my path up through here. So around to the right, back around to the left. Head up this way. Now this one isn't armoured either like our uh, personal one is, so just um, be, bear that in mind with the NPCs chasing. I like to pull up just here and jump down off the barrier here. Get up, mate. Come on. And head back over to Chaz. Press right on your D-pad and that'll throw him into the back of the van. Next drive back to your bail office. And remember that this one is not armoured like the one we normally use, so be wary of the NPCs coming after you. And once you get back to the bail office, that'll be the mission completed. Next, I'm going to show you how to do Cleo Song. For this one, we need to head down to Majestic Studios. Once you get down here, I like to pull up just here. You'll see that there is a um, tree just here so, and a couple of hedges. So jump up next to that. Pull out your uh, suppressed weapon. I like to use the special carbine. Headshot this guy. Then walk up to the door here. Press right on your D-pad. And we're going to have to do a little hack here. Once the hack is done, press right on your D-pad to enter into the office. Head over to the end of the desk here. Whoops, a little bit too far. Press right on your D-pad to pick up the key card. Head over to the door. Press right on your D-pad to leave again. Now, when we leave, you want to head over here. And I have shown what you need to do with these ones before. Um, you're going to have to look in the uh, trailers, looking for a green arrow. It hasn't spawned in that one over the right. So it might be around the corner here. Just take out this guard. Head up to this trailer here. Walk inside, and here it is here, so take a photo of this and send that to Jeanette. Now, if it doesn't spawn in this one, I have got another video showing where all these locations are, so I will link that down below. Uh, now we need to head over to, um, you see the yellow dot on your, on your map, so we need to head over there to the studio. So come around the corner, there's going to be another guard here, take this guy out. Come around the corner further, there's going to be another two guards here we need to take out. There's one on the left here, there he is, and one over there on the right, so take him out. And then head over to the studio door and press right on your D-pad to enter the studio. Now once we head inside, we will need to take all the guards out, and this can be done in complete still. So just come up, take this guy here, one down the end there. Come around here, we're going to have another one to the left just here, where is he? Just there in front of us, take him out there. Come around here, one more there, take him out, take that guy out, now head through here, there's going to be two over here, take them out both in quick succession, one, two, and there's going to be one more around to your right, and that is everybody. Now on the table there, there can be a prop that spawns, but more often than not it will spawn in this trailer, so I like to check the trailer first, and yes, there it is there, so pick that up. Now we need to head back over to the um, studio area here. Head straight through this section. It's not that one there. It's always going to be this one here. There are three of them in here. It's always going to be this one here. So aim your gun at her, and she will take her mask off and surrender. Once you have her in the van, drive back to the bail office, and that'll be the mission completed. Next, I'm going to show you how to do Brock Thompson. Now, this is the only most wanted bounty that you can use the Oppressor Mark II on. So if you've got this on your computer, log out, go outside, set your Oppressor as your personal vehicle, then come back inside and start the mission. Now, the game is going to tell you to head to the southeast of the city to destroy a couple of signal jammers. You don't actually need to do that. If we head up to the northeast here, head up towards the power station, Brock's convoy is going to be heading down here. So your missiles will lock on. Start firing away, we want to, want to just hit that custom mule as much as we can. We also want to take out his two escort vehicles here as well. Take this one out. Don't, don't get too close, I was lucky I didn't blow up my oppressor then. 
Uh, head over to the edge of the um, custom mule here. Make sure you equip your minigun and head over to the back door that'll activate the cutscene. Now once he pops out, fire at him. Keep an eye on the bottom left corner there. You can see his health bar. Wait till that gets under that line. Couple more shots and that should do it now. Now take out your um, homing rockets and blow up his uh, reinforcements. Got him. Now head over to the back of the truck. Before we um, pick up Brock, head inside. There's something in here we can pick up. Collect that and come down now and press right on your D-pad next to Brock. Once he's in your van, we can drive back to the bail office. And once we get back, that is the mission completed. Next I'm going to show you how to do Omar Garcia. We're going to head down to the Life Invader offices. Pull up near the main door here on the southern side of the building, walk up to this keypad, press right on your D-pad to hack your way inside. Once you come inside, take this guy out here, this guy out here, and make sure you grab the camera as well. Then head up these stairs, there's going to be another guy at the top of the stairs on the left here, take him out, the camera up behind him, take that one out. Come up around the corner here, there's going to be another one here on the left, take him out. Take this guy out here, and one over the far side here, and the camera on the very back right wall. There we are. Next walk over to, or run over to the uh, keypad here, press right on your D-pad. And if you've done KO Perico Heist lots of times, you will know this fingerprint hack. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward, I'm not going to bother explaining this, you should know this one by now. Hack the keypad, and head inside. Now once you come in, you want to come over to the right here and press right on your D-pad. We're going to have another hack here. Now what I like to do for this one is go to the top one, go to the second one down. Second one down, go to the top one. Third one down, go to the bottom one. The bottom one here and come up to the third from the bottom. Press your triangle and we see that we've got two right. So this one must be uh, that one there and the top one must be down to the bottom one. There we go. Successful hack. There is another one over here, press right on your D-pad again. So I like to do the same process. Go from the top one to the second one, from the second one back up to the top one. Second from the bottom to the bottom one, bottom one to the second bottom one. And we got one there, so I'll move, move this one up here. This one to the bottom, and the top one straight. Has that got it? No. Okay, so top one to the bottom. This one here to the top one, and the second one is straight. There we go. So it is just a little bit of trial and error on there. Sometimes you'll get lucky, and it'll be crisscrossed like I do, straight up, and you'll get them straight away. Not every time, though. Okay, so now head out. Head straight over to the uh, balcony here. Now equip your stun gun. Hop off the edge here, and hop on your bike. We're going to head down to the LS car meet. Now the reason I like to equip the stun gun now is because the next time we're going to be using the weapon is when we are face to face with Omar Garcia. We want to keep him alive. Now once you get to the LS car meet, I like to head down to the left here. There's going to be a truck just here. You can see that big truck right in front of me. I'll walk up to the engine bay and press right on your D-pad. And that is going to set the alarm off on the truck. The guard behind us there, standing in front of the entrance to the, to the test track, he's going to come running over. So just head over to the test track. Now once you come into the test track, there's going to be two cars just over here. I like to hop into the one on the right. And just watch out for this barrier as you're taking off. Just get it nice and easy. Head straight through here, there's going to be another car parked just down here to the left of us. Pull up just here, head over to the boot, or trunk for you Americans, and press right on your D-pad. And then hop back into the car, and we need to go find Omar and ram the absolute shit out of him. What I like to do for this one, is come around here, you can see here he comes here, the second car. Head on, bang. And that, that's the fastest way I've found to activate this cutscene where we're going to leave the LS car meet. Now once we're out, give him a big ram. You'll see his car's got a health bar there. Take out the gun and your the, the tactical SMG is the best one I like to use. 
and start shooting him. Don't keep an eye on that bar, you don't want to get it too far down. Then a nice big ram, and that should be enough. He should be hopping out in a second. Get over here, hop out of the car, equip the stun gun, and shoot him. He'll go down. He hasn't dropped his weapon though, I don't think. Nope, he hasn't. He's going to get up and start shooting. Uh, yes, so um, shoot him a couple of times. Try not to kill him. There we go. Press right on your D-pad. We'll chuck him into the back of the van. And once he's back in the van, drive back to the bail office. And when you get back there, that will be the mission completed. The next one I'm going to show you is Leroy O'Neill. Now the game will tell you to go to the abandoned motel at Sandy Shores, but you don't need to do that. You can go straight to the O'Neill farm. And if you have the Polito Bay bail office, this is the quickest way to do this particular mission. However, most of us aren't going to have that one. We're going to have an office in the city, in which case it probably is still faster to go straight to the O'Neill farm anyway. When you get to this section here, the freeway, cross onto the wrong side of the road, watch out for traffic. This just before this tower here, head up between the tower and the hill, jump across here, whoops, a little bit too far, swing around to the left and just drive between the barn there and the house and that will activate the cutscene. Then Once you come to, you will need to head over to this side here, pick up this pool cue by pressing right on your D-pad, head up the stairs here, there's going to be a fuse box here, press R2 if you're on PlayStation, whatever the equivalent button is on Xbox and PC, it'll smash the fuse box, walk up to the door here and press right on your D-pad, and head out the door, and move around to the right here, we're going to pick up our phone, as you do this, there is going to be a couple of NPCs come in here. We need to take this guy out. Oops, he got me first. Take him out, come out this door, round to the left here into the dining room, and there's going to be a weapon on this table. Pick this up and start shooting everybody. Take these guys out. Just to whip that guy. And that guy. Now walk over to the door. Where are we? Not oh, that one. Is it that one? No, it's this one here. Head over to the back door here to check the map to see where I was. Shoot the door to head out, and your weapons are going to be over here. So just walk up here, press right on your D-pad, and you'll collect all your weapons again. Now just take out every single red dot on your map, except for your target, of course. We want to keep him alive. So this is just a, just run and shoot. Keep getting to cover. Don't die. Keep an eye on, on your ammo and your uh, sorry, your armor and your health. Take out that guy there with the rail gun. So just shoot everyone. Really don't need to explain too much here. Now Leroy is going to be behind these cars here. You can see the white arrow on the on the left side there. So you need to pop, take your stun gun out. Oops. These guys are still shooting. Let me just take a few more of them out. Just uh, watch your health and your armor as you're coming through here. And make sure your auto aim does not lock on to um, Leroy. Take out your stun gun. Stun him. Take out your uh, gun again and just kill the rest of the uh, O'Neill brothers. There's going to be one between these containers here. There he is. And there's going to be one more around the side of this barn here. There he is. Take him out. And once you have everybody, head back over to Leroy and press right on your D-pad to chuck him into the back of your van. And then drive back to your bail office and once you are back, that is the mission completed. And that is the fastest way to complete all six most wanted bounties available through your bail office. Now I hope you learned something and you enjoyed this video and if you did please drop a like. If you want to see more GTA content please hit that subscribe button. Also consider signing up as a channel member if you want to show a little bit more support to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers.